Hey guys, Banished Designs here with a color correction tutorial on Sony Vegas. You can do this on Pro 10 or Pro 9. I'm using Pro 9. So what I'm going to teach you guys how to do is make a dark color correction. Something on the lines for uh, heavy metal music, etc. So let's get into this quickly. I expect that you guys know how to do everything beforehand. So I'm just going to do it quickly, whatever. Change the template to 1280 by 720 change the full resolution render quality from good to best and change none to lower field in field order and change frame rate to 29 or 59 whatever it's your choice then drag in your clip right click go to switches disable resample so now first thing you want to do is go to color is go to color correct color corrector sorry about the stuttering like that so just drag in reset to none and then copy what I did. If you look, you can see that it made it a bit darker, made everything stand out a bit more. So if you need to pause the video, pause it right now, and then just get back to it after. So now go to color corrector secondary, drag reset to none, and copy what I have here. Again, pause the video and you can see what I did. So I'm going to exit it right now. All right. Now, before we get into the the main part, just quickly go to Sharpen, go to Reset to None. Once you do that, make it from 0, 0, whatever, all zeros, to 0 0.015. That just gives a little extra detail into everything, into the fence, into the gun, and it just looks better. So now scroll back up and go to Color Curves. Now this is where it basically gives you everything. So drag in reset to none. And then this is what it's going to look like. So I'll actually do this one with you to just help you guys out quickly. Reset to none. Now go to red. Make an S shape. Oh, stupid phone. I'm not even going to bother doing this again. Go to green. And basically copy the shape of the red you can make it just slightly lower if you want but it won't matter if you make it the same it's not that different now blue is the most important one when you go to blue you want to make the s shape but on the opposite direction all right so now you can see it gave it a little bit of a blue tint and also gave it a darker feel so now just copy what I did, make an S shape with the green and the red, and then make a backwards S, and then make it into the shape of an 8. So the backwards S is blue. So you can rewind this if you want and try to try it over if it looks weird. So now go down to soft contrast, add a vignette, change the effect to what I have right now. And then change the effects here. Alright, now after this, you want to go to Blur Effect. So just add a soft moderate contrast again. And just change everything to this. Go to Effect. Then go to Vignette. And copy what I did. Again, I know I'm going fast, but this video will take really long, so just pause it and watch what I did. So in the end, it should look like this. If you don't want the blur, you can easily just take it out, and it looks really good also. So here's what it looks like without blur, which actually looks really nice. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Maybe next time I'll do a render settings tutorial. Please like the video, and... Let, give me some feedback in the comments. Please don't dislike it. Just give me some constructive criticism and I'll work on it for my next video. If you're having problems with it, re-watch the video. And then if you're still having problems, put it in the comments or send me a message in my inbox. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible about the problems you're having. Please don't just say, I'm having a problem with the color. Well, that's probably the problem. So give me an... Uh, like an explanation of what's going wrong. 
So thank you guys. Hope this helped you out. Hope you guys are going to use this maybe. And again, please like the video if you thought this was helpful and more graphics and tutorials to come. Thanks guys. Later.